G'day everyone, uh, welcome back to Paul's Aquaponics. I haven't done a post for a very long time, but now we've got COVID-19 situation happening. I thought I'd take the opportunity and show you how to look after strawberries and the strawberry runners. Now the runner plant is an exact clone of the mother plant. So I like to call them the daughter of the mother plant. And the best way of trapping them and getting them to be productive uh, is to pin them down. How do you pin them down? I hear you ask, very good question. I use some very, very mild steel in the form of a pin. To create that pin, all you need is a length about 15 centimetres long. It doesn't have to be accurate, it doesn't have to be spot on. Simply grab the two ends and the centre, hold it like that, get your leather man and put it in the middle, give it a pinch straight across to there, then a half a twitch, another half a twitch, and another half, and then fold the legs down like that. Then you can come along and pick up this little one and bring her closer to her mum. Now if we have a bit of a look in here, we've got a bare patch. So it's clear a bit of soil there for the daughter to be pinned down. And just so she's in contact, just in contact with the soil, as you can see here, got those little nodules down there, they become the future roots. So as long as it's just in contact with the soil, it should be fine. If you have a look around here, we have a runner and another runner. Sometimes you can get four, sometimes you can get six. I know I've had up to six on occasion. So these two, we now need to pin back here into this bald patch with another pin just in contact with the soil there and this one hardly formed but I will trap her just for the purpose just for the sake of uh, being able to do it here and now just in contact with the soil there and another pin and put it in contact with the soil there it doesn't have to be forceful it doesn't have to be really firm just in contact with the soil and as you're going around have a look at the mother plant and see if there's anything that needs to be knocked off and guess what I have found another daughter if you have a close look at those nodules there that's the roots so this one I will put right next to the original mother because this mother here if you have a close look she has one two three four five six six seven pretty dodgy leaves she's been in this pot for i think she was the original plant that i put in and all these others have been daughters as a result so this one is probably going to fail me in the very foreseeable future so if i just put that one in contact with the soil there and get hold of a pin and put it there just like that you can see here she's also sending off another runner so I'll leave that develop until it comes out around about 20 to 30 centimeters or whenever she really starts to form a, a bulb at the bottom there like this one here has you can see this the, the roots about to form then I will pin this one back into this top tray as well now strawberry towers are a very very good way of, of raising strawberries keeps them off the ground as long as you've got um, your chooks uh, trained not to go and eat them good luck with that then you should have some very very lovely plants and as you can see on this particular tower I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and I've got another runner here as well have a close look at this one this is really well developed you can see you've got those nodules there that's what needs to be put in contact now I try and keep the original plants with the original daughters um, because some of these are different varieties. For example, if you go zoom back out a little bit, you can see that this particular one here, I think from memory is a Hokawase, and this one from memory is a different plant. I'm not exactly sure of its name again now because none of the tags are back here, but to have a look, the growth of the strawberry itself is completely different the ones at the top here are a bit of a clump and they like to clump 
Whereas the one down the bottom here has got quite a long stem. So I'm not exactly sure what type, what type that one is, but again, this particular runner, I'll put it back in contact with its mum back about there. And Laverne, if you have a close look, bring that in there, you can see it's in contact with the soil. Uh, it's got room to move if it wants to, and it should then put down roots within the next week or so. Um, something else with strawberry towers that are a bit problematic is the fact that you get some grubs and bugs and things hiding in here and you've really got to pull the tower apart. So this is unscripted people. Here you go to see what happens. Top comes off. Let's have a look underneath. Some spiders webs, uh, no creepy crawlies. That's good. Now we can have a close look at what's in here. I don't know where this fluffy stuff's come from. But anyway, as you can see, there's a bit of soil depletion going on there. It's probably been washed out by some incorrect um, watering habits. But otherwise, this is not a bad, not a bad plant. Okay, let's take the next one off. And get down to the bottom. And again, you can see, we just put this uh, runner back in. You can see this one here is getting a little bit overgrown. So it probably needs to have a good clean out. And again, it's a similar type as to that previous one there. It grows from a long stem. And that one there is a different one again. So there you have it. That's how you look after your strawberries. If you have a close look down around here as well, you can see there's old leaves and everything that have, that have just hanging over the edge. Just tidy it up a little bit, give it a little bit more room to move. You might come across a plant tag, which I have. Sometimes you come across old pins that I've created a few years ago as well. So keep them, and again, that wire is only mild wire, twitching wire, what my father would call twitching wire. And we have Fragu. different to the hokawasi that's up on the, the top here. You can tell completely different growing style for the hokawasi and the fragu down the bottom here. So there you have it. Any questions, queries, um, put them down the bottom of the, um, of the video there and I'll get back to you. Talk soon, bye.